Well, good evening. Welcome to the channel. Or actually, I should say good morning because I've changed the day that, um, that I post on. Usually I post, or I used to post, I should say, on a Tuesday evening. But I've uh, done a lot of research about the best day to, to post a YouTube video. And turns out Tuesday evening is the worst possible time you could possibly want to upload a YouTube video. The algorithm just uh, doesn't like it much. So I have swapped to a Sunday morning. So all future videos, for the time being, I might change it. Future videos are going to be um, Sunday morning, quarter past eight. So be there or be whatever. <laughs> if you haven't seen the channel before, uh, I'm Douglas Milne, a uh, photographer based in West Lothian. Um, and I've come up here today uh, to get some shots, some evening shots, of a place in West Lothian called Cairn Papel, which is uh, an ancient kind of uh, stone circle. Uh, it was last year in the winter. I'll put some, uh, I'll put a card up in the corner there or whatever, just to, so that you can see. Take a look at that last video, it was here in the snow. Uh, this time here, it's a lovely summer's evening. The uh, sun is going down kind of over there behind me, which is why I keep squinting at the camera. And uh, so yeah, we're going to try and get some kind of sunsetty shots. If you watched that previous video from here, uh, the one in the snow, you'll know that there is something that we really need to avoid here which is that thing behind me. Huge mass, about 60 metres tall, something like that. Massive, and it just seems to manage to creep into every shot because it's hard to avoid. But we need to avoid it all the same. So, I do have a couple of shots in mind. Uh, so we'll go over, get set up for the first one just now. This is Cairn Papel behind me, this kind of mound thing. Um, tell you a bit about the place, it's ancient. Um, older than Stonehenge, I believe. Um, and it's probably, they reckon, the most important uh, prehistoric site in Scotland, if not the UK. Much more so than the likes of Stonehenge and places like that. So, uh, fascinating place. Problem we have with it is that the whole thing is built on top of a hill. The uh, these prehistoric people just had absolutely no concern for us photographers at all. So, unfortunately, we just have to live with that. Okay, so it's just about here, I think, where I want to get set up. So I'll get set up and join you again in a moment. the drill by the way um, like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff you know um, hit the little bell icon um, which is down in that corner there I think um, and you'll get to see all the stuff that I post if you're new to the channel I hope you enjoy it I look forward to seeing you so I'm all set up for the first picture and all I need now is the light. Uh, as you saw the sun was going down when uh, I arrived just a few minutes ago but now as is absolutely typical the sun has disappeared behind some clouds and there is a fair bank of clouds, individual clouds but fair bank all the same across there. What I was hoping for was that all of this would be kind of washed in sunlight as the sun went down so we get this kind of nice side light on, on the mound uh, of Cairn Papel, but uh, for now it's not. If I hang around and wait, hopefully we'll get that. So let me just explain uh, the, the, the setup that I've got here, um, the composition rather. What I've got, the way it's set up, let me put the um, put the movie on there like that so that you can see it. Um, 
I'm working on the rule of thirds. Very, very simple. We've got the line of the hill going right along the top rule here. I've got the mound of Cairn Papal. That's an old burial mound, by the way. If this, is, this place is run by Historic Scotland, and uh, you can get inside that mound and see the kind of the, the what do they call them, the kists or something, where the where the bodies were buried. I can't remember if they've actually got skeletons in there or not, but it's all very fascinating. Uh, anyway, yeah. So that's that. That's the mound. Uh, we've got this running around here, and. Uh, it's running like a kind of leading line through the picture. Those of you who live in central Scotland will know that this last week has been very, very wet. We've had torrential rain pretty much non-stop for about three or four days. It's, it's been thoroughly unpleasant. I've been waiting for an evening to come out because I, I really, I, I've been trying to get this shot for some time now, several, several months I've come up here thinking this would be a great shot to get and then it's just it's just been thwarted for one reason or the other and now I'm hoping it's not going to get thwarted again the sun is still behind those clouds across there and I really want it to be shining on that mound across there we're just going to have to wait see what happens Right, what we've been waiting for has just happened. The sun has come out. Let me just show you that movie ever so quickly. There, you can see we've got the sun all illuminating the um, illuminating the mound. We've got this kind of, uh, the, 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 what do you call it, the ditch thing is all highlighted. So I'm just gonna switch that off. Okay, I'm gonna focus right up onto the mound itself. I'm sitting at F11, aperture priority, 1 15th of a second, and I'm going to grab the photo. One, two, three, click. I just remembered the other thing I was going to say to you. Do you remember last week I was saying to you, last time rather, when we were up down at the Three Brethren down in Selkirk, which is over, I don't know, about 40, 50 miles that direction. Do you remember I was saying last week that all the music in these vlogs is done by my son, Declan, um, and he's just uh, passed his project and whatnot, I said all that. Well, he got his results today and he's got himself a first class honours in music. He's a, a bachelor of music now. So I'm really chuffed for him, really pleased for him. So I just want to put that out there. Um, I will put a link uh, down below again to his project that he put out. The particular piece of music that I use on these vlogs is a piece of his called Birth. Um, it does have lyrics, although I don't use the, the lyrics version. Mine is all the instrumental mixes, if you like. I've got loads of different edits, which I, uh, it's, it's great having him around because I can say to him, look Dick, can you maybe just do, um, you know, I'm needing a, an edit of that song which lasts maybe a minute or one minute ten or thirty seconds, you know, and uh, he's quite happy to do it. Gets it back to me within about a fortnight. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's that. I just want to say congratulations to him and I'm sure you'll join me in saying congratulations to him. So, I'm aiming now to get the sunset and I'm shooting directly into the sun. I've moved right round, I've got kind of 180 degrees around the, around the mound from where I was before. So we're looking at a similar kind of composition but shooting directly into the sunshine this time. Uh, what I've done, because I'm shooting directly into the sunshine, is I've swapped round my lenses. The big lens that I had on this camera originally, uh, the 60 to 70, is now on you, 
on that wee movie camera there. And I've got a 16 millimeter prime um, on this camera pointing directly at the sun. Now the reason I've done that is because uh, 16 millimeter prime or any prime lens for that matter has got fewer moving parts. There's no kind of zooming bits and things like that. So there's fewer bits aside, fewer bits of kind of uh, refracted or reflected light, that kind of stuff. Uh, so you don't get so many kind of um, flare, flary bits if you like. Still getting flare, um, but not quite as bad as it was. So let me show you what we have got here. Now if I stick on that movie and you'll see it up in the corner there. Uh, it's looking quite dark there because I'm at f22 uh, but you can see that we're getting the the sunshine here we're getting that sunset. Uh, I'll turn that down just a tad and you can see the kind of flare that's appearing there. Uh, bring it right down. No I'm still not getting a good picture. You can see across here though we're getting this see my finger here we're getting this kind of flary bit over here somewhere um, which will disappear if I put my finger in there. See it disappears? Right? And that's the trick that I'm going to use. I'm sure you've seen it on other, other channels, seen other people doing it. Uh, you take two shots, okay? First one is just like that as it is. Second one, put your finger over the sun. I'm going to put two fingers over it, in fact. And that will give you... Um, it gets rid of any flare, if you like. So that's what we're going to go for. All right, so uh, I'll just switch this off just now. I'll turn myself back up to f22, like I say, because that gives us that lovely kind of sun star thing. Okay, I'm going to switch that off. Like the other one, I'm going to shoot this in 16 by 9 uh, shooting directly into the sun, so it's uh, quite kind of uh, nasty to look at right now. But not to worry. Uh, oh, talking through the composition again, let's put it on the, comp the um, what do you call it? The movie again. I'm just running it straight down the middle, and I've got rule of thirds. Again, the mound sitting on that rule there, and the sun is going down on the other one, just across here. Again, nice, simple, easy shot, obvious shot even. So yeah, let's just switch that off, and uh, I'll take the shot, I'll probably take several shots in fact, and I'll show you the best one now. Here we go with the first. One, two, three, click. Right, well, I'm going to pack up and go home now. Um, hope you've enjoyed the, the pictures. The sun is starting to go down now, starting to really set, and uh, I think I've probably exhausted all the shots I wanted to take. So, yeah, if you have enjoyed it, uh, could you please like, please subscribe, hit the little bell icon in the corner there. Um, all the usual things, uh, you know, just the, the usual carry-on that we ask you to do, all the, all the YouTubers. Um, yeah, I would really appreciate any comments that you want to leave. Uh, and that's that. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.